Hey pilots, if you're interested in jumping to any part of this video, just check out the chapters at the top of the screen. Hello Air Hogs pilots and welcome to the pilot training video for the Air Hogs Helix Race Drone. Here you'll learn how to power and fly the Helix Race Drone as well as pick up a few tricks that will help you become a Helix Drone Speed Demon. So let's begin with a few quick tips to get you up and flying as soon as possible. Your Helix Race Drone has built in beginner and advanced modes. This allows you to choose how responsive you want the controls to be and how much responsibility you'll have for leveling the Helix Race's flight. You can choose which mode you're in by adjusting the mode switch located at the bottom of your controller. In beginner mode, the Helix is easier to control and provides a more stable flight. You'll know you're in beginner mode because the LED located on the front of the drone will turn green. When set to advanced mode, the controls will become much more responsive. Your Helix will fly much more quickly and the pilot will be required to level the Helix's flight. When you're in advanced mode, the LED on the front of the drone will turn red. You can perform flips with the stunt button located behind the directional lever near your right index finger. After a flip, apply the throttle quickly to restore balance. Begin by releasing the battery panel from the back of the control module with a screwdriver. Install new batteries as shown in the polarity diagram and reattach the back panel. Now let's charge the Helix. Switch off both the Helix Race Drone and your controller. Remove the charging plug from the storage compartment and insert it into the Helix Race Drone. Push the power button on the controller to begin charging. The charging indicator will begin to blink red when the Helix Race Drone is charging, then will turn green when fully charged. When charging is completed, return the charging plug to its storage compartment and close it securely. You can also charge your Helix Race Drone directly from a computer. Plug the standard end of the USB cable into the computer and the other end into your controller. Then, attach the charging plug from your controller to your Helix Race Drone. Press the power button on the controller to begin charging via USB. Alright pilots, you're ready to take to the air! First, switch on your Helix using the power switch. Switch on the remote control module by pressing the power button and place the Helix on a level surface to allow gyro calibration. Don't try to hold the Helix. The gyro must calibrate in order to arm the throttle. Move the throttle to its lowest position on the remote control. This will instruct the control module to sync and begin searching for the Helix race drone. The controller's LED will blink until the throttle is enabled. Lightly engage the throttle until your Helix lifts off. Practice applying regular, steady pressure without a rapid increase or decrease in force until you get the hang of it. If you find your helix spinning unexpectedly, you can adjust your flight by simply tapping back with the anti-spin adjusters located underneath the throttle. If your helix race drone is drifting forward and backwards or side to side, tap the anti-drift adjusters next to the direction lever to adjust your pitch and roll. The left stick is your throttle, which controls your altitude. Your right stick controls your direction. Once airborne, you can change the direction of the helix with the right stick. Remember, it takes practice, so keep at it. Consider this your graduation, Air Hogs pilot. You are now ready to fly your helix race drone. And to learn more, refer to the instruction guide or visit us at airhogs.com.